Now in this video or in this section, we will be working on uh, search functionality, right? So user will be able to search for the user, right? So maybe we can show a little kind of a search icon, right? And by clicking on this, we will open a model and then in that model, user will be able to search for user, right? So, okay. So let's see how to do that, right? So first of all, I will sh show here a little a kind of a search icon. Here you can go to this materialize. Here you can see we have the search icon now. What you can do is you can uh, copy this tag, right? Control C. Make sure you have you have uh, put this link in your head of head right inside index HTML file file, right? Okay. So now we have done that previously, right? Okay. We can put this in here, right? And we need to put this inside li, right? Yeah, like so. And yeah, and put a comma. Now, if you will uh, look on the console, right? Let me show you. Here you can see we are getting a kind of a little warning that is saying that you should add a key, right? So let's add a key, right? So we can add a key here, maybe, right? Now let's say key will be uh, one, right? And we can copy this control C and control V key will be two, right? Key will be three and key will be four and yeah, here as well, key will be five and Key will be six and key will be seven likes so. now this warning should get disappear right oh yeah the warning is now not visible here it is showing that you should as add a class name right so in here we need to add a class name right now there are no warnings I guess right so there are there are no warnings right okay so now, when you say here, we need to write search, S E A R C H, and in here we need to add a style, right? We need to add a style, and in here we can add a color, and the color of this will be black, right? B L A C K. Like so, let's save this and let's have a look. Now here you can see we have the search icon, right? Amazing. Now here we can search for model, right? When user will click on this, we will open a model, right? Okay. Yep, and let's see if uh, yeah we want this now here we will in this model here we will add a like uh, maybe an input field and then user will type on that right and we will show the list of user here right okay so let's see how we can add a model so we need to add an anchor tag right and not an anchor tag and it will have these this class model trigger right and in here we need to add href with hash model right and here is the id right model hash id right so this will when we will click on this link this will trigger this model right okay and we can trigger this with button as well by adding this data target right yeah okay and we need to initialize as well right so we need to do this stuff in react side right so we will have a look on how to do this stuff on react js side okay yeah so first uh, maybe we can use this data target to trigger the model right so here copy this data right data target control c and add this to our i i i tag right control v right and copy oh yeah this model trigger control c and add this in this class name let me minimize this in this class name like so right awesome now we can copy this model structure control C right and maybe we can paste that maybe after this div ends maybe here this will be not visible initially right and we will be working on that how to do that now okay so now here first of all we will change this class so I will press control D control D control D and class name right okay and here, here I can get rid of this href, right? And here instead of anchor tag, control D, control D. Here I can maybe write P U double T button like so, 
okay yep so everything is correct right okay now we need to initialize right so how to initialize so first we need to get the element right and then we need to uh, use this model method and, and the init method and here we need to pass the element right okay so in order to get the element in react.js we can use references right or we can make use of use ref hook here we can make use of use ref hook right i want to refer to uh, this model right this model right it has a class model right okay so first of all let's initialize right so here maybe i can write uh, const uh, maybe uh, search model model right maybe search model let's write here s small right okay and this will be equal to use ref and initially it will be null right now in here i can use copy this and here i can add a ref and this ref will be equal to control v search model right okay so now i i have this reference of this div right in this constant in this constant right okay so now i can initialize in use effect right in use effect so i can import use effect and now i can initialize some stuff in use effect so here i can make use of use effect and inside this i will pass a second argument that will be an empty dependency because i want this to get fire only when component mounts right okay now in this first we need to get import m from materialize css we need to get this m right now here we can make use of m and in this m we have model right model we have in it right let me see that again in this model we have in it and in it we need to pass the element right okay so in here in it we need to pass element and we have that access to that element in the search model and here we need to write current as well right okay like so let's save this and let's see if our, our model opens up right now here i can click on the search here you can see model is getting open right as of now the text is white so maybe we can change the text to black so uh yeah so i can add a style and color will be b l a c k let's say b l a c k let's save this and let's have a look and the color should be now black okay so now we will get rid of this instead in here we will be put we will put an input tag so let's go to sign in and maybe we can grab one input control c and uh yeah in here we can paste that right and the placeholder will be let's say search search users right and the value okay so we can create a, a, a state right so yeah so we can make use of use state hook right use state and const uh s e a s e a r c h search and set s e a r c h set search let's make this s capital right and this will be equal to use state and initially the value will be empty right okay so now when we will type on this we will call set search right and here we can write search like so okay let's save this and let's have a look yeah we have this nice input okay now we will search for list or maybe collection c o double l yeah collection okay now in this collection maybe we will uh, show the user uh, in this list right okay so we can copy this control c and we can put this after this input control v and let's give it a little tab and here we in, in, i'll select all the occurrences of class by pressing control d d d and i will rename it with class and a name like so yep let's save this let's save this and let's have a look 
and if we click here and i think everything is perfect right everything is perfect everything is fine let's try to increase this right i'll shift down key and let's see what happens and this model uh, is increasing right uh, this model is automatically increasing or we we are we have this search bar right automatically added and it's fine it's fine this behavior is fine right absolutely fine okay so in this video we just created the front end right so we will be working on the back end in the next video so i'll see you guys in the next video